Hey YouTube, Garage Boys here, back at it again. So we're gonna work at this uh, Jeep Commander's 2010. We're gonna fix the infamous door handle, interior door handle. If you have this Jeep Commander, obviously, and don't lie, you know you have this issue. Don't even play smart. We all know you have this issue. <laughs> they all have this. I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Um, we bought the part on Amazon. It was uh, $30, $25. Just check the link in the description for that. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and fix that. So the first step for this, we're gonna take down the door panel. I'm gonna show you how. And then I already have the new part. We're gonna have to just draw, um, drill some holes. It's just gonna be a quite a project, but um, they sell you the whole kit for this. So let's go ahead and get on. Usually they all break, but fortunately enough, mines are fine on the other side. So we're just gonna do this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out the door panel and let me show you how. Okay guys, so the first step on removing the door panel is removing a couple of screws. There's actually three. In this case, it'll be only two, but it's right here. You're gonna use a Phillips screwdriver. As you can see, there's one right there. You're gonna come here to the side. And right there, there's another one. So that's two. And then the third one, well, if your door handle is broken, it doesn't really matter, but it's this one right here. That's three. So you're gonna remove those three. Uh, I'm not gonna even touch that one. I don't have to, but you're gonna remove those three screws. There are, these are Phillips. And then you're just gonna get a flathead screwdriver and we're gonna remove this little panel. See this right here? Which is very easy. You can come to the corner, squeeze in your uh, flathead and then just turn. As you can see, pop the clip and you can just pop it up. And there you go. So there's just a clip in the front, this one right here. And then a clip in the back, this one right here. All right, so you just pop it out. Now you can unplug it if you want, uh, which actually you think you have to, which is easy to unplug. Just It's just a press and pull. So you're gonna press here and pull back, press here and pull and pull, and then press here and pull. So remove that and then I'm gonna show you where are the clips on your door so you can take out your door panel. Okay guys, so remove those two screws or three if you have that one and remove that little cover, unplug everything, very easy. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down here and most of the doors have this, but you'll see a little gap opening. See right here, see, it's kinda in the middle. That little gap is so you can put in your flathead just like this and then just pull back and that will pop one of the clips. You heard that pop? And now that you pop that, you can maybe put your hand in and start popping more. So there's a clip, usually there's one in the corner, on each corner, so just make your way through. I'm gonna start popping. There's also a tool for this, but it's, um, cause those clips always break, but I'm gonna have a link in the description if you wanna buy the clips. And if you wanna buy the tools to remove the clips, you can have that, but I, I don't use them, cause I know that nobody has them. And usually you just wanna fix this right away. So, but just start popping them. I'm gonna keep using my flathead. But just like you heard that pop, just keep on going. And I'm gonna show you the location. Once I take this, once I pop them all, I'm gonna show you the location of the clip so you can know where to place your flathead and make your way through and pop. So go ahead and pop everything out. Should be three on that side, it should be three on the bottom, three on this side, and then the door should lift up. So let me go ahead and do that and show you exactly where they are. Okay guys, so I removed it. So it was, uh, let me show you the clips. This one up here in this triangle, there's a clip, but that one is a slide up. So if you leave it there, you don't mess with it. Once you remove the bottom one, you just slide your door panel up and it comes out. But you're gonna have, okay, so you're gonna have this one right here. So that's one, let me get the door panels. One, two, three, right there. And then at the bottom, as you can see, that's one right there. Let me get this door. There's one right there, then two, and then three, that white one over there. And then on this side, there's one, that yellow one. And that's it. And then this one in the corner, which is this one. All right, so those, those are the clips. Uh, once I popped it open, all of my uh, the plastic from my door handle, all the pieces fell off, which is okay, not a big deal. Now we're gonna need to remove our door panel completely. So we're gonna come in here and just unplug all this, which is a push and pull, very easy. See, just like that. Press the button and pull back. Uh, go same for this. It's 
faster if you use your, both of your hands, but I got it anyways. Uh, and then this one, also push and pull. And there you go. That's how you remove your door panel. Now that we've removed the door panel, I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna take it inside. So let me show you what to do next. Oh guys, also now that you remove your door panel, our new door handle comes with this little handle. So just go ahead and remove it from here, uh, which is very easy. You're just gonna push this back. Uh, you can use both of your hands, but I usually just pop this back. Hands. Okay, use both of my hands, but the goal here is to pop this little plastic. See how the grip is right there? Just kind of push it back. I'm gonna use both of my hands and I'm gonna show you how it looks after you pop that out. Okay, here you go. Okay, so show, sorry I couldn't really show you, but just pop this back. You can do that by pressing down on this and releasing it. And once you pop this open and you push it to the side, you can just lift this up take it off so this will be basically trash because our new one is right here comes with everything all right so let me show you how to install this on, the, on your door panel okay guys so now that you have your door panel on your table uh, this is our new part which is going to replace all that only issue is that to remove this is a bit complicated. So the part that you purchased on Amazon with the link that I gave you in the description comes with this little drill bit, which is very really nice and monster looking, horrific. But comes with this. And what you're gonna do is use your drill and you're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to just drill this on every single little uh, bracket here and, and drill it through so you can remove this which is breaking, coming up, breaking apart. And then I'm gonna show you how to install the new one with screws that come with the bag and some crazy glue. So this is gonna be easy. Um, get your drill and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna demonstrate on one or two of them and then you'll just repeat the case. In my case, see I have this, mine broke like this. Yours probably broke differently, but you just have to break every single one of them. See, just one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Is it ten? So just go ahead and use this and let me show you. Let me demonstrate with one of them. Okay guys, so get your drill. If you don't have a drill, you don't have this, just check my links in the description. I'll have all this information. If you need a drill, they're kind of cheap and it's good to have at home. Um, but just put in your drill, get it in position, and then just no, to the right. Oops, there you go. Very smoothly and it's plastic and just don't do a lot, just a little. And as you can see, pieces will go flying around, but that'll be enough for you to remove the little plastic. But let's keep it right here. There you go. So that's that. And then just clean the surface up. See, just like that. And just like that. So go ahead and do the whole thing. For example, I'm gonna do this one. There you go, see? Now this one. There you go. This one. And this one. It's, it's hard to record in one hand, but see? Once you remove that, you can take it apart and you can still have that. So just remove it with your drill. Just do that and what you wanna do is just clean the surface. I did this one earlier. See, just clean this up. Let me clean it up and I'll show you how it's supposed to look when it, once it's clean. Okay guys, so I cleaned this up. Uh, as you can see, it's not a big job. It's just minor stuff. Just clean that up. The main important ones, uh, important little sticks that you need, I guess, are this one and this one. Because when you get your new door handle and you place it on top, you know, those kind of go through. And then everything else, we're gonna put the screws that came with the new one. We're also gonna use the crazy glue and the washers. So there's no way of putting this wrong because those have to go in through those holes, right? And then, uh, and that's it. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit more. Just maybe use a, no, just, actually just with my hands or just with a, maybe a, a pocket knife or something, just round it out because 
the previous door handle kind of messed all this up. See, on this side, it looks smooth and clean, but this side is a little bit messy. So I'm just gonna play with it a little bit. Yours is probably not like that, but I'm gonna show you how to put this on and also screw it in with the new screws that we have and also add some crazy glue just to uh, hold it in place. Um, just because you may not have all the little holes so you can put the, the new screws, okay? So go ahead and uh, let's put on the glue and then we'll go from there. Okay guys, so I'm ready. I'm gonna clean everything out, have the glue, have the screws. Um, I'm gonna put this on, I'm gonna put some glue. Put glue wherever you see that it's gonna touch. Um, probably in this ring, just don't let it spill on the inside. Um, and every single dot of this, of the little, where the screws go, that's a good place to put glue. It's, it's one will be different because it depends on how you drilled it. And what's up with the drill, you don't wanna go all the way too much and kinda of mess it up. But what it is, is this little screws, oh, no, just fell. but all these little screws, they gonna go in, they basically screw inside this hole. So they, they're, they're the right size to fit in here and hold the door. So you may wanna put some glue inside as well. I'm gonna put the glue, let me use both of my hands. Put glue on every single spot. I'm just gonna put a lot of glue everywhere and then drop this in, like I mentioned before. Then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna screw it, you know, uh, one at a time. Make sure you do it in the start mode, which is one up there, one down here, one to the left, one over there, one here, one here, just across from each other. And, and just do that. And I'm gonna show you the finished product, which is of this. I'm gonna, I wish I could do it and show you guys at the same time, but I'll just save the time. And I don't have anybody else to record, I'm sorry. But it's very easy. Just put the glue and I'm gonna show you the finished part. Okay guys, so I finished. I put the screws. I didn't use any of the washers. I just thought I needed all the grip that I could, I guess, from the screws. I just threw a lot of crazy glue afterwards all over the place. Um, this is a sad job. It's uh, I have a lot of fixes in my, in my YouTube channel. And this is, I guess, one of the worst. And it's not, it's not me, it's just a fix. If there's no way around this, you have to buy this part because the door panel breaks itself. The whole door panel breaks. And you have to do this little junky job. This is the only way with those little screws and kind of cr using crazy glue, which is sad. But it's it's the only really solution for this door handle problem. And that's just sad. But I'm going to, I guess it looks okay. I'm going to put it on the door. I'm going to wait for it to dry a little bit. I'm going to throw some more crazy glue all around. Afterwards, when I put it back in the door panel, I'm gonna show you that it's, it's getting late outside, so I'm gonna use a flashlight. You're gonna use the major screw will be this to you know hold the door panel, but that'll be the last thing I'll put on. Uh, first thing will be this, you know, connect everything back. And these two things will clip some, something over there. I'm gonna show you where exactly, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw more crazy glue. A lot of them gripped in. It's, I guess at the end of the day, it's everything, uh, what matters most is how you drill the little tubes that are sticking out. If you drill too much, then tough luck is not gonna work. If you don't drill enough, if they're not all even, then you can't really put the door handle, it's gonna be off. So it's it's difficult, it's, it's just, it's an ugly fix, but it's really truly the only fix for this job. And it's cheap. I mean, another solution would be buying the whole door panel. But even if you buy the whole door panel, you're gonna have the same issue. Let's say you buy it from a junkyard or from even from the dealer, that's still gonna break because they always break. So you're gonna do this sooner or, la or later. And some of them had a good grip. I know like this one had a good grip. This one had a good grip. I think that one had a good grip. This one didn't really have a grip at all. Now nah, this two grip really good, those two. So you may wanna see previously on my video how those two uh, tubes looked and maybe kind of have them all that way, but Again, they also have to be even size. You can't have one taller than the other because then it's uneven. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some more crazy glue all around where I can see that it makes some contact probably up here on this lip and then go from there. So let me just do that and then put the door back and show you what else you have to do. Okay guys, so here's your door panel. This is how it looks now. It's, I guess, nice and somewhat solid. Um, remember there's a screw in there that we're gonna be placing. Um, also, take off the plastic before dropping all that crazy glue. This is the plastic. This is not scratched, but that's just the plastic with the crazy glue. 
that I had before. Uh, the plastic that came with the with the handle. I didn't take it off, so it got stuck with the crazy glue. So make sure you take that off. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it back, uh, put it on. Also remember to take off the screw if your door handle was broken just like mine. So I just removed the screw, it was just stuck there with a little bit of plastic. I threw that away. Keep the screw, you're gonna reuse it. Go ahead and put this in first. Then we're gonna push in the the clips. If you remove your um, your panel and you still have some clips stuck on the wall like this, take this off, just use a flathead, come in here, take it off with a flathead. Or if you have the, the clip remover, uh, the trim remover, you can use that. Get that and put it on the panel itself because we're gonna be uh, pushing it out, clipping it. Uh, and then come in here and this, you're gonna use a flathead. But see this little cover goes right there, you just use a flathead and pop it open. So now we can put the screw, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then show you the final product. Okay guys, so here we are. I finished uh, putting the door on, put the screws, everything on and it's working fine. It has a good grip, it's solid. I mean, hey, it's nice. Um, the, my uh, panel was already like this, I guess from the previous um, owner or whatever. And then this I did with the plastic and the crazy glue. So I'm gonna clean that up later on, but um, everything is back in order. Let me see. Put this to the test. Oh, let's see. Yep. I just don't, don't overdo it because it's gonna break again. But it's actually pretty solid. I wasn't expecting it to be this solid, uh, which is nice. So I hope this video helped you. I hope you, you know, hit like and subscribe and also share with your friends because this is a very 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 common issue i fixed this for about 28 dollars or so usually all four of them break all the, for all the doors so go ahead and uh buy those check the links in the description for all the information and everything else you need also check other videos um check this other video on that card up there that's gonna show you the some um, chrome moldings on the doors and, and mirrors make the truck look nice um which makes it look really nice so check that out you may be interested Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.